In this video today, I'm going to be talking about my E11 and how far it got me through school and how much of a good clarinet it is. Just going to brag about the E11 for a bit. So here it is in its case in all of its former glory. Well, I guess sort of current glory. I got my buffet last year in January 2013. So that was like a year and a half ago. And so far with the auditions that I've done since I've had it, I've had two distinguished pluses in solo and ensembles. I've had first chair district, third chair region, and tenth chair state. So it's got me pretty far. And um, it's just an intermediate clarinet and it's wood. And I bought it off eBay for $415, which was a total surprise to me that I was able to get it at the price because I thought I'd have to buy a new one and it was gonna be $1,000 until I actually started looking at clarinets on eBay and I was like, oh my gosh, they have these like for under $600. And I went to my parents and I was like, please, please, please let me get it. And they were like, well, it can't go over $400. So I was bidding on it here at home, like whenever I was at home. And then I had to go to school and the bid was ending whenever I was at school. So I kept watching it on my friend's phone because I kept taking theirs because I don't have a phone. And um, the bid went over my bid and I was really upset. And then whenever I got home, my mom told me that my dad bid on it and bid 415 and I was so happy. Yeah, I finally got it and whenever I played it for the first time I noticed it's such a big difference from a plastic clarinet to a, a wood clarinet. I went from an Artly, which is like crap, to a really good brand clarinet. And I think that every student who starts high school should get a Buffet E11. I got mine whenever I was a sophomore. And it definitely got me places like I didn't I didn't know that getting a clarinet that good would be able to get you like to the top really fast. But like I went from sixth no it was fifteenth fifteenth chair in region to third chair in region. Just because I got this and I started practicing because whenever you play a wood clarinet you actually enjoy playing it. Because it has such a beautiful sound and I don't know, it just feels good to play. But whenever I play like my plastic clarinet for marching band, I feel like I want to bust it over my knee. That's how much I hate it. So, I think that everyone can, should consider getting a clarinet. And if they have financial problems like me, then you can just get on eBay and try your best to find a cheap one like I did. I really haven't seen them go this low in good condition, but the person who sold me mine said that they had it in their closet for 10 years and they had only played it one, one year in high school. So before that it was brand new. So like there's no problems with it at all. It plays wonderfully and I'm just going to show you guys. I don't have a mouthpiece with it right now cuz it's on my it's on my uh my marching horn. And since I bought a new clarinet, I'm not going to be playing this one that much. So I have all of the stuff put up. So here it is. It's silver plated, which really surprised me that it was 415 if it's silver plated because it's really good. And like the difference between silver and nickel plating is that your fingers are less likely to slip. Like whenever you touch it, it has a better grip on it than a nickel plate because nickel plate, my fingers would slide all over the place. But yeah, I used it for a year and it's been almost everywhere with me. Pretty much everywhere. Everywhere band wise. The logo, I rubbed off the logo on the barrel, and it's pretty much all the way rubbed off here from where I use it so much, and I put it on like this, so I rubbed it off, but you can see, still see it, and see the E11, although it looks like it says E1 right now. And the logo's still faintly on the bell, and everything is original, like, pieces together, the serial numbers are correct and stuff. So I was really surprised that I got it for $415. I was really lucky to get it for $415. And um, since I have my new clarinet, I don't have any uses for it. So I'm going to be selling it to my cousin because she has a plastic clarinet. And the sounds that come out of that thing whenever I play it are just hideous. And she's about to go in high school. So I'm just going to sell it to her at a fairly cheap price too that way she'll be able to possibly get the places where I was like 
like region and all district and all state and so yeah I would definitely suggest getting an E11 if you're coming from a plastic clarinet because it definitely helps so thanks for watching my video and I hope you considered talking to your parents or getting a job or whatever to get you an E11 and I also forgot to say that all of my videos on my channel before the last two videos that you can definitely tell I don't have the same clarinet are all my Buffet E11 like videos so if you want to hear me play it and play it good all the videos on my channel are my E11 like I don't play my plastics and I didn't have my bacoon then so you can watch all my prior videos to this like I said bef bef besides my two new ones the Wrecking Ball and Just Give Me a Reason those were all my new one so you can listen to it there and see the pretty tones that it has and the nice key moving that I can do because it's fun to do. <laughs> so yeah.